Hey, what's going on guys? Awesome and Evil here. This is the Garmin update and we got some amphibious vehicles to show off and just talk about a little bit. So, first off here you've got your infantry only Schwimmwagen, the American and Russians. They also have a very similar vehicle, the QMC. You can unlock this with Chauffeur Ribbon Grade 11. It's gonna cost you 176,000 credits or 1,050 gold, which is quite expensive for a car, but when you think about it, you can drive it on land, and then you can drive it through the water while also transporting your friendly troops. But the downside of a car like this one is that you, you can't carry any supply packages such as a health package and majority of the health packages have been removed from the map so which makes it just pretty much like a, a utility car and they've added in a, a whole bunch of just water bridges too but you can still make quite some good use out of these new amphibious vehicles even sneaking around or just uh, get one on an AT soldier and get behind enemy lines. But they do move at a decent rate through the water. The They can back up but it's basically nothing. Just make sure you don't bump into too many obstacles and hopefully you don't get spotted either because it, it is quite easy to pick you out of your car and for the Americans exclusively there is also the weasel which can hold two crates but early tests have haven't been too great with the weasel it's it seems like it's it can go through the water but it just it sinks way too easily so I believe they are fixing some of those things about the weasel and lastly here the Russian T-38 <laughs> bullet tank now this is a pretty cool addition since right now it's the only say, tank so you got a gun platform in the water and you can just sneak around, be like a shark, flank your enemies with it. So it's it's pretty cool that the Russians are getting some much needed love. Alright Evil, so what's your take on these amphibious vehicles? Are they good? Are they bad? Let's see what you got to say. Alright, so what I think about these cars is that, like, I'm just, just the cars alone. No, no weasel, no T-38, just the cars. So what I think about the cars is, yes, they are kind of fun, they, they look amazing, they got cool animations. I find that they're not that overly useful, like... As Alshama said, the maps currently have more bridges so that regular cars can cross. So there's kind of less use in the Schrimbogen and the GPA or GMC there. And there's just, there's no, there's no health crates on any damn map. So you kind of need to pull a Kubel wagon or a Jeep or a Gaz. So if you pull one of these amphibious cars, you don't you don't have a crate. And on top of that, they're expensive as hell. So you're yeah, paying a they're... lot. You're paying a lot for a car that is basically only going to be like a non-conventional attack tactic so my recommendation is you know you use your regular 
you know, land car, your Kubel, your Jeep, your Gaz, until you find that, you know, things are tricky. You can't, you know, use a, a head-on uh, attack. So, that's when you'd pull out your amphibious car. To when, when you need to flank around and use a non-conventional tactic to get to the capture point and whatnot and actually make progress in your game to hopefully break any stalemates. So yeah, those are the amphibious vehicles. Who knows, maybe they'll make some changes in the future, lower some prices. Who knows what happens? As of right now, it's just a little bit of a grind, but it is a dual-purpose vehicle, so I can I can understand it. So thanks for watching. Let us know what you think of the update and these new vehicles, and we'll see you on some more Garmin updates coming up. I'll see you then.